I remember when I was eight months pregnant and I was working and my boss at the time was an amazing female leader. She encouraged me to go apply for a job that was a promotion. In the real world, that doesn't happen. Like women don't get told to go apply for jobs, go on maternity leave and it's okay, you're gonna get promoted when you get back. That was a game changer. When I joined ServiceNow, I was designer number eight. And throughout um, these six years, we grew so much. When I came to ServiceNow, what attracted me here first, five years ago, was an incredible amount of opportunity. I think if you blink, you might miss one. It will just go by. <laughs> when my husband, he got his offer from his MBA school in Paris, he was very happy. I was very happy for him, but I was also a little bit panicking. And my manager told me that, well, you know, there's the performance analytics and reporting team in Amsterdam. So not only did I get the support to move to France to be with my husband, actually I got this opportunity to lead a product team there to advance my career. In this company, I would say change is only constant, right? But I think being humble about it and saying, teach me, help me learn, has been a foundation in terms of my success. To be honest, I, I don't always know what I want in my career, but whenever there are opportunities show up, even though the timing is not right, I, I'm just ready to jump in because I, I feel like whenever I'm ready, I don't think the opportunities would be there waiting for me. If you never ask the question, no one knows you're lost. So I would say the same advice for women in tech, like speak up. Sometimes we feel a little bit self-conscious. We may feel intimidated or maybe we're too shy to share our point of view. But in order to make an impact, we need to be able to trust our voice. Do I think I have another five years here? Absolutely, like this place is amazing. It's a rocket ship, so if you can stay on board and ride it, you'll be super successful.